fitted instructions. The, these are from a company called Hainer uh, in Germany. They're not chrome locking wheel nuts, but they, they match the nuts that are already on the van. And they're called Still Block Pro. And that's not easy to say. And some instructions that come with it. So I'm going to have a look at the instructions and then I'm going to fit them. You'll need a torque wrench. And you'll need a 21 millimeter socket on the end of it you'll also need a, a wheel brace this is one I've had for ages it's extended wheel brace so you can get a bit of leverage on it because these are put on quite tightly and you'll need a bit of muscle power which I'm probably lacking These are the wrong size. Right, hopefully I've got the right size now. I think these are these are M14 nuts. Twenty-one millimeter spring, but twenty-one millimeter nut. Need to lean on top of it. the wheel nut fitted. That's the first one fitted, just got the other three to do. Right, I'm going to keep the old nuts just in case I need to replace them and come to sell the van. But I'm going to put this somewhere safe where I know where it is. There's no point keeping it with all the wheel nuts, it's a bit obvious. And anyone breaking into your van would then be able to nick your wheels if they knew where that was. A spare wheel. Stuff is in the front under the passenger seat. It's a bit of a pain to get out actually. So you've got to get this off, get the carpet out of the way first. Yeah, it fits quite nice. 
honestly in there. Well, that's about it. Um, I'm going to hide the hex nut, as I said, somewhere safe, so I'm not going to put that on YouTube. Um, you do need an extending um, lever, really, it's a lever of some sort, because the wheel nuts are normally put on pretty tight. I think the I can't figure out what wheel um, wheel nuts should be done up to, but I think it's either 160 or 180 newton meters. I've done them up to 180 just to be on the safe side and I will check them before we set off anywhere. But other than that, it's a fairly straightforward job. It does make you sweat a little bit, um, but yeah, good bit of exercise. I think the moral of this story is that ch to check the sides of your nuts before you, uh, you take them off. The M14 or the M16 refers to the uh, diameter across the thread of the nut. So if you're unsure, take your nuts off first and uh, measure them across the threads and uh, order the correct ones, unlike I did, basically. Anyway, so um, let us know in the comments if you've got lucky nuts on your motorhome, uh, if you've ever had your wheels stolen, perhaps, because you haven't had lock nuts, or if it's something that you might think of doing. Any comment always helps the channel. Um, YouTube pick up people comment or like a video and they present it to more people. So if more and more people are getting involved in motorhoming at the moment, it all helps. So like I say, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and we'll catch up with you in the next one.